Review number 1. Hi all. So we have had this vacuum for about 2 months now and I can honestly say I am impressed. It's rare that I find a vacuum that I like and is powerful enough for my needs. A little background. We live in the FL Panhandle and if you've ever been here, you know that for miles inland, the soil is nothing but sand. It's that way almost to the AL border. As such, every time you walk outside, you end up tracking sand back indoors, especially with kids and a dog. As such we needed a powerful vacuum to get the sand out of our shag carpets, yet I know, shag and sand don't mix, and this vacuum gets the job done. Below are some of my thoughts after two months of use pros. One very powerful and easily picks up everything from pet hair to lint to sand and dirt. Two relatively lightweight in that you can easily lift it and push it around. The only time it gives resistance is on the shag carpet but that's to be expected. Three the vacuum is very versatile in that it can almost be pivoted horizontal to the floor. Many vacuums can only achieve a 45 degree or 60 degree angle when trying to get under the beds but this vacuum is pretty dang close to being flat with the floor when you need it to be. For the from container is clear so you can see when to change it and changing it takes maybe 5 seconds literally. Two quick release clips and all the dirt falls out the bottom of the canister. 5. The on slash off switch is foot activated and the switch is right next to the lever to swivel the vacuum down to go under beds. 6. It comes with four attachments, the typical two long slender ones, a brush, and then a special attachment for couches. 7. About midway up the vacuum, there is a round dial like switch that allows you to very quickly and easily switch between the main vacuum and using the attachments. This is an incredibly nice feature as it makes switching to vacuuming the couch super simple. Cons 1. The vacuum can be pretty loud. I'd guess it's around 80 dB and is certainly louder than a dishwasher. To the very end of the plug near the wall outlet gets pretty hot after a few minutes use. It's almost like the vacuum is pulling the amperage limit on the cord. It's not enough to cause problems but it's disconcerting unplugging a hot, not warm, hot, cord from the wall. I've also attached some pictures so you can see the real thing and not some advertisement picture. I hope this review helps as overall, this thing is worth the money. Review number 2. This Eureka bagless vacuum comes in pieces but has easy to follow instructions. It was more than two pieces, unlike some that are just clicked together and go, but I don't think it's anything too advanced and it doesn't require tools. Bagless vacuums have been my favorite ever since they came on the market so choosing this style was a no-brainer for me. It's pretty light and has a few accessories that all fit onto the unit and haven't as of yet, gotten in the way or fallen off while vacuuming. The upholstery tool is especially cool with its built-in brush roller, enabling you to really get furniture clean. I had vacuumed the day before I used this new one, just to see how it did compared to my 12-year-old Bissell. One pass through the living room, dining room, kitchen, and one bedroom, filled the entire chamber. Not because the chamber is small, it is actually twice as big as my old bagless, but because it picked up so much dirt. It seemed to suck more silt from the carpet than the old one and I didn't have to keep going over spots to clean them. My favorite feature of the vacuum is that it has a clear tube. If it ever clogs, I will know just where the clog is and how big it is. Our old one is black and we are constantly having to clean out the tube from clogs because we have new carpet. 
The tube is also shorter so there is less chance for things to get stuck so deep inside that I can't reach it. The base of this vacuum is slim enough that it can go under beds, couches, even my kitchen kick space without getting stuck or unable to reach. I also like that it has a switch to turn if you are going to be using the attachments. Other vacuums seem to keep running at the base, even though you are using the drapery wand. The only issues I have with this machine are really minor. First, the power button is pretty touchy. I always have to tap it twice to get it to stay on. I don't know if this is my own fault, that I'm just not used to it. Or if it's created that way for short bursts. I might be stepping on it too lightly. Second, and the only really issue I see with the machine at all, is the place where the cord is supposed to hook in. I keep having to stick it back in while I'm vacuuming. I think I've got it securely in now, but just waiting for it to come loose again. Overall, I love my new vacuum and can't wait to clean. Wait. Did I just say I wanted to clean? Update 1.7 years later, vacuum is dead. It was good while it lasted, but the fact that it died so soon changed my stars from 5 to 3. Won't turn on. No power. Not even something that can be fixed easily. Review number 1. Hi all. So we have had this vacuum for about two months now and I can honestly say I am impressed. It's rare that I find a vacuum that I like and is powerful enough for my needs. A little background. We live in the FL Panhandle and if you've ever been here, you know that for miles inland, the soil is nothing but sand. It's that way almost to the AL border. As such, Every time you walk outside, you end up tracking sand back indoors, especially with kids 